Question 12. The frequency table gives information about the times it took some office workers to get to the office one day. Part A. Draw a frequency polygon for this information. Frequency polygon is taken by finding the midpoint of our groups and plotting the frequency at that specific point. You could draw a histogram or like a bar chart and then join the middle of each bar, but the easiest way to do it is just find the middle point at that frequency. So, paying attention to the scale, uh, every square is equal to 2, but we're just trying to find the middle, so that's nice and easy. Each square going up is equal to 1. So, between 0 and 10, we want to find 4. So, that's this point here. So, I'm going to draw a little cross. More accurate you are, the better, but as long as it's within like a half a square either side, you should be okay. Between 10 and 20, going up to 8. So just a little cross in the middle of each of these groups. Uh, if the next group goes up to 14, that's for 30 to 40, we're going up to 16. And then for 40 to 50, we're going up to 6. And then 50 to 60 only goes up to 2. Plotting the points accurately will get you one mark. You need to join these up with a pencil and a ruler from point to point. This is what creates your polygon. You do not have to join the first and last points up, and if you do, it'll probably be ignored because you've got everything right that you needed to. Part B, write down the modal class interval. For some reason this one confuses a lot of people. Well, we know that the word modal or mode means most common. So we're still looking for the one part that has the highest frequency, the most common one, which in this case is the group 30 to 40. You can write this down exactly as it's written on the table. So it's 30, it's less than T, which is less than or equal to 40. It's one mark as long as you identify the correct group. One of the office workers is chosen at random. Work out the probability that this office worker took more than 40 minutes to get to the office. Okay, so probability is given as the number of events over the total number of events. So, how many people took longer than 40 minutes? So that's 6 here and then another 2. So altogether, that's 8 people took over 40 minutes. How many people are there in total? Well, the question doesn't say, so we have to work it out. Add all of your frequencies together. 12, 26, 36, 42, 48, and 50. So there are 50 people in that survey. But only 8 of them were over 40 minutes. So our probability can be given as 8 over 50. Now, while that is still technically a correct answer, just to be safe, we can convert that into a decimal 16 out of 100, or 0.16.